Uh, and then I'll definitely be putting railings for sure. Oh my gosh. We've got a fire. Stop it. Oh, it just burned it. That's okay. That's cool. Oh, look at this. Oh, and then there was some down there. Very nice. Okay. Um, oh, any apples? Appleopolis. Appleopolis. Oh, so I've got a ton of... Um, oh, no, I should probably keep this. And this will be my humble abode over here. I've got a ton of... Um, <laughs> why am I missing... Oh, stone, stone, stone. I was like, am I just forgetting how to do words? I don't, I don't understand how to talk now. Um, yeah. <laughs> so anyways, um, to kind of to get back to my trip, it was kind of funny because we had some guides there, and uh, the one guy thought I was from Russia. <laughs> so he'd just, he'd call me Muska, uh, which I, I had my translator, my handy-dandy Google Translate, and that translated to fly. I'm like, well, that doesn't really make sense. Am I, are you suggesting I am fly? Because, I mean, I guess that's a, that's a compliment, right? A compliment in itself. But uh, no, he, I asked him, like, do you, do you, is that what you mean? And he said, no, 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 Mosca. And I'm like, that, I think you're saying the same thing there, buddy. <laughs> uh, he, he's saying Moscow, as in he thought I was Russian. Uh, purely from my uh, exterior, not anything like, because I'm, I'm certainly not like a badass or anything like that, but I am uh, apparently fair skin blonde. <laughs> Uh, I think he was just um, misinterpreting my race. So yeah, it was pretty interesting. So that became our like running joke. Then we started developing other nicknames for other people, and it was it was fun. It was a really good time. We made a lot of good friends there, and um, I just really enjoyed it. Uh, the thing I didn't enjoy, however, was. Oh my gosh, this apple is just, was the, um, just lack of everything, and the heat, oh my dear lord, so, um, the heat the one day was 114, 114, yep, that is 114, um, in temperature, yeah, no, it's as hot as it seemed, so, um, Definitely got a little sun, uh, and I was happy for that as well. I do enjoy sun, which is good. It's good to get some sun. It's just not good to get excess of sun. And I made the decision to not wear sunscreen while I was down there because I really wanted to just get the equator sun. I wanted that crispy tan, and I luckily didn't burn during that. But um, I don't advise any of you guys to do that. Um, obviously, that's at your own discretion, but... Yeah. Uh, yeah, so let's get back at talking about this game. So it looks like we are establishing a pretty... Oh, jeez. Uh, oh, those trees just came up at once. I should call this Treeopolis. But I guess apples come from trees. And through extension could be uh, Treeopolis. Um, Treeopolis would obviously be a subdivision of Appleopolis, because Appleopolis is a fun word, and everyone likes that. Sure, I haven't taken a poll, but I'm just going to speak for all you guys that you love some Appleopolis, in which, uh, in which this case I'm going to have to probably make another axe. This one's about done. Uh, hopefully I can find some more apples, uh, after all. This is Appleopolis. Okay, so I've got a ton of wood, and wheat's still going at it. Um, I can't believe it takes so long to do this wheat. Because once I can start getting bread, then I can start really just living my life. Because then we're, oh, there's two apples, three apples, what? This truly is, this truly is a heaven uh, for apples to come to die and for me to eat them. So, not really an apple heaven, I guess, since Apples probably don't like to be eaten. I, I mean, that's just my take on it. But it truly is for uh, for us, uh, us the, both the viewer and both the player, I'd say. 
Um, okay, so I hate these trees. The one, I mean, I like big trees, but I hate that I have to just kind of get in here and find all of the... Oh, there's another one. Which I have to jump up and get. There we go. I wish they really had the tree capitate. That would be so nice. One of the guys. Oh, there it is. That's the tree there. All right. Um, doesn't really look like any more apples have fallen. But, I mean, I got back up to four, and that's pretty sick, I'd say. Uh, I guess we still have some opportunity there. Absolutely. Um, all right, so let's get back out here. I also need to make some fences. Did I put any fences back here? I'm up to four. No, I didn't. I'm up to four sugar cane. All right, so I'm going to have to... There we go. There's six. That should work. Um... Yeah, are there, oh, and I also have to plant new trees. Yep. Just another day on the tree farm. Just another day on Appleopolis. Ooh, I almost backed off the edge of there. That would not have been good, man. I Like, if I'm going to die, I'm going to die with style. It's going to be like a triple backflip while killing four zombies or something. It's not going to be me falling off the edge looking for some stupid tree plant location so oops come on get with it get with the program let's get this dirt off one two three one two three that is schmexy all right so i might actually start with some wooden planks oh my gosh those trees are just growing way too quick Slow down. They're just, they're growing up so quickly. <laughs> mm. Soon they'll be off to college. Tree college, that is. Uh, tree university? Tr university tree? There we go. I think we found the correct pun for that one. <laughs> uh, it sometimes takes a while to get it. Oh, my dear Lord. <laughs> Did you see that tree? That thing is huge. Just what we needed. Another tree for me to complain about. Well, let me start up here, actually. And we'll just kind of take this down little by little. Uh, making sure I don't fall off the edge as well. There it is, there it is, there it is. Alright. So, guys, I need your input on something. Me, I had, I had been talking about uh, to my wife what exactly... Uh, we need to do for our one year anniversary coming up and I was thinking going to Greece how, um, now I've done a little research on it I know they were doing the, the whole refugee thing I know that's an issue uh, back over there but um, I'm not sure how, like, how uh, traveling there would, do, would be so if any of you guys have any sort of formulative opinion on that I would love to hear it of course um yeah, so that's, that's kind of my challenge for you guys, if any of you know of anything. Gosh, I wish I could do something with all of these saplings. I have way too many. Way too many saplings. Absolutely way too many. Yeah, so Greece, also, I mean, really I want to go there just so I can say, oh, I'm eating greasy food. Totally worth it, huh? Uh-huh. You, you get it? Like Greece, but but Greece Greece ish food, I guess would be another way of phrasing it. Yeah, I can tell you're laughing. All right, so I think that was it for that one. I think we're losing daylight here, buddies, and I haven't even made my house. Um, which I don't have enough. Oh, what? How did this apple get way over here? Oh, <gasps> another apple. Up to six apples? Gosh, I'm just rolling in the apple. All right. Um, so I was going to actually probably emulate another. Um, oh my gosh, this is another big one. 
emulate another monster platform because it's, it's sheer size. I mean, it's huge. So we'll see how that pans out. Um, yeah, I'm sure something's going to spawn there and kill me tonight. That's another thing. I haven't really gotten too many, too many monsters out here. At least not as many as I was really hoping to get. Oh my gosh, but man, I am just sitting in sapling heaven. Where, uh, well, saplings really do come to die here. But I also, in a sense, live. Uh, because I replant them. Oh, there's an Enderman. Now this one's going to be a tricky one. Um, and I have no leather. Shoot. This one's gonna be really tricky. 